What's up, uh, YouTubers, anime advisors, spillers, internet users alike, uh, one quick side of fan 16, uh, here for, yes, uh, a dunce cap episode, finally, uh, and yay for me, it's my birthday, blah, 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 um, but today is the release of a few Funimation titles, uh, one in particular that I do have, and I've actually had it for a couple of weeks, if any of you, uh, watched my most recent, uh, purchase video, um, so yeah, I, and I got to it, and I, I went through it, and I took, took my, kind of took my time, been really busy on weekends and whatnot, but now I'm finally recording it, and it, because it does come out today, I have for you the Blu-ray DVD combo pack of Helsing Ultimate, uh, part one, which is OVAs one through four. Uh, so yeah, there's the front and back cover. It's the it's the same for uh, the actual case itself. Um, this is a larger Blu-ray um, case, and that's because since it is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack, um, it has three DVDs that are red and two Blu-ray discs that are black. And I really love that they went with red and black on this. I think it look I think it's fantastic. Yeah, I just love it. It's it's fl straight colored. They didn't try to doll them up with with uh, like character animations and whatnot. Um, and then here, you know, you got uh, some uh, the artwork on the, on the inside of the, or on the back side of the uh, cover. So I always gotta love that. Alright. Okay. And so uh, kind of get um, right right to it. Uh, first sub versus dub. I, I originally uh, watched uh, OVAs 1 through 8 on Funimation's YouTube channel in sub because they're up there. Um, they probably still are up, so for those of you who are iffy on, on the series or ha haven't uh, checked out Helsing Ultimate and want to do it for free, then uh, boom, go, go to the YouTube channel and you can watch it in sub uh, and, and check out see if you, you would enjoy it. Um... I, I actually really liked the, the Japanese uh, uh, voice. I, I, I didn't. I, I had only watched the dub for the original TV series, and so ha seeing the Japanese voices or he hearing them um, was actually it was actually really good. Like I actually really enjoyed it. And they didn't. Yeah, obviously with Japanese voices and for where all the characters are are, are from, like what you know all these different countries. The fact that they were all speaking Japanese, like I I didn't even care. You know, because it, you know, just yeah, I, I didn't even care, and it was just really fantastic. And and some of the speeches, some of the dialogue actually was like, uh, I felt pretty epic in in Japanese. So yeah, um, but when I when I got this uh, box set, I watched the dub on the Blu-ray, of course. Um, and they, what's what's cool is Funimation was able to bring back all the original voice actors from the original series, uh, which is great. Uh, although I don't really remember Father Anderson having an Irish accent, but I also haven't seen the original series for a few years, so that could just be my confusion and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I, I, I enjoy I enjoy the dub. Uh, there are points that I feel like the Jap Japanese is a bit actually a bit more epic or you know just a bit more over the top th than the English but uh, I, I still uh, very much enjoy the English and so this is uh, this is a series that can can be enjoyed in either format which is which is really good um, next is the is the animation um, I've heard some some people talk about how they, they like the animation style of the original uh, TV series better than the OVA series um, uh, personally I disagree uh, since this is an OVA series instead of a uh, running TV series there's a there's a better budget uh, to put towards uh, animation and, and whatnot uh, so I, I feel I feel it is better and obviously the animation is you know a bit more crisp you know, on close-ups of characters and, uh, you know, some of the some of the fight scenes and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, overall, I actually I actually quite in enjoy it, and the, the Blu-ray looks looks good with it as well, because, I mean, it is a, uh, a 1080p HD, it's 1080p, but it's, you know, it's an HD native, you know, which is, which is fantastic. 
uh, to have in the first place. Um, story. Uh, the story is Integra Wingate's Fairbrook Kelsinger. Integra Fair Fairbrook Wingate's Helsing, something like that. I can't quite remember her name, her her actual name, but uh, she is in charge of uh, the Helsing organization, which uh, controls uh, Alucard, uh, the like original vampire, and they fight um, against vampires and other monsters and you know the ghouls that vampires create uh, to protect Britain. Um, and then uh, of course. Uh, at the beginning, there you start off basically like right in, in into the heat of heat of battle with with a uh, with a, with a vampire t taking over an area, and uh, Sarah's Victoria uh, uh, gets involved in it and has to choose between life or death, or li living or dying, uh, in a, in a sort, and. Uh, she she chooses to live, and so then th through uh, Alucard she uh, uh, survive. You know she uh, becomes a vampire, and so uh, that is uh, part of the progression progression of the story is is Sarah's figuring out like a a balance between being a vampire and that her, that new lifestyle and uh, trying to keep. Uh, you know her humanity, but uh, uh, beyond beyond that ba basic basic part, um, the story is is about a organization called Millennium, uh, and all I'll say is it's a Nazi organization, and uh, that's really all I'll say. But all it is it's 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 a big fight between Millennium. And the Helsing organization, and then you sit there and, of course, throw in uh, the the Vatican and Iscariot and, and all that, you know, who you know hate hate the Helsing organization because they're Protestants, and so <laughs> you know they're basically like kill the infidels. It's, it's just ridiculous. I mean, they're just like, oh, they're Protestants, you know, they're not even, you know, they don't worship God, right, or whatever, blah, 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 you know. And so, uh, that's, and so it's just this, like, three-way kind of battle uh, go, going on uh, through the series, so it's actually, it's a, it's a pretty fun, it, and it, it's, it's different, too. I always, always got, like, you know, a, di a story that takes a little, uh, you know, intrigue uh into uh you know you know just something different something i don't know it's not it's not I, I wouldn't call it like ballsy but it's uh it's it's different you know it's 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 a different style of story from what you generally see which is which is good um and the characters of course you have uh integra helsing head of helsing organization and uh, master of alucard uh her grandfather is the one who captured Alucard and uh, and uh, kept you know kept him under under the control of the Helsing uh, household. So and then of course you got her butler uh, and he he's badass. And then you got of course Alucard and he's 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 the you know the like original vampire count whoever. Um, but he's he's like a different vampire, which is really fantastic. Is that and that you know, comes back to the story as well. Is it's a different kind of vampire story. Like like the vampires in here, like obviously you have you know your, a, a number of your usual vampire tropes, but it's it's certainly quite different in a way as well, which which I I, I find adding to the fun because you don't want the same vampire story in every. Single little thing that's about vampires that just that's no fun. Yeah. And you have Sarah's Victoria. Uh, she was an orphan and a uh, police officer who turned into a vampire. And that's not really a spoiler because that happens right away. So some of you who might freak out, oh my god, no, don't, dude, don't worry about it. Um. And so yeah, she's trying to deal with uh, just being. 
being uh, you know a vampire and and whatnot dealing with her humanity and whatnot. Um, and then of course you have Father Anderson, uh, who is part of Iscariot, and he. All I'll say is he's he's not exactly human, uh, and that's really about all I'll say to him. But I will say that he is a lot more badass in Ultimate than, than in the original series, which is fantastic. Um, and then you got you know the Millennium Organization that's got a number of uh, different characters uh, uh, who are certainly some oddballs, uh, and then others are. are like pretty interesting just like you got Rip Van Winkle who's a woman um there's that and then yeah, I won't really try to ruin anything else in that. <laughs> the the friggin brothers <laughs> uh, they, they provide some laughs though they they that's that's really where like that's about the primary episode where language actually actually takes place and it's a lot of a lot of language and I, it makes me laugh <laughs> but that's that's just me I have, I don't know, I have that type, that kind of humor. Um, and then you got, well, Maxwell, who is the, like, the head of Iscariot. Um, and, I mean, that's pretty well it for main characters and whatnot, that, that I want to say. I don't want to, like, ruin, ruin anything or whatnot. Um, so let's see, that's characters, um, uh, anime versus manga, um, some people get upset that when I talk about Helsing Ultimate uh, sticking more to the source material and being, in, in my opinion, being better than the original TV series, uh, considering that I haven't read the manga, like at all. And so, yeah, some people might get upset, but I mean, I, I'm just going off like wh what I understand of uh, Kota Hirano's work from reading uh, his, his currently running uh, Drifters manga. Um, so I, I'm, I'm just kind of drawing from that to my understanding and also like what other people have said, uh, about how it's, it's truer to, to the manga, like story wise and otherwise, uh, especially I feel, uh, uh, it's got, it's got a lot more of, uh, of Hirano's like personality, uh, in, 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 in the OVA series compared to the original, like the original didn't have like any comedy or anything like that. And... Hirano has that has a quirky kind of uh, dark style humor, um, and it's it you, they, it's actually in the OVAs and it's it's neat because I get a kick out of it and it's, some people just don't like it at all and for other people it takes a little bit to grow on but it's uh, it, it's really nice to to have more of the personality from the creator to show in the work and it just shows me that more you know a lot a lot more goodwill and and just faith was put in, into this OVA series which is fantastic um and so I but I do plan on getting the uh the manga at some point and reading it uh, because I just really enjoy all of Helsing um I'll give it a five out of five and whatnot, so yay for that. Um, I do want to talk about it's. It's only like a 195 minutes or whatever, because the the OVA episodes range from like 40 to 50 minutes long. So it's pretty simple when you only got four OVAs on here, and there's actually over 200 minutes of extras. And why? And it's 200 minutes over 200 minutes of extras because, um, and that's that's not even counting the comment there there's commentary for each OVA and I didn't check that out to see who they were with because I, I don't know I, I'm going to guess they're with the Japanese cast but I, I'm not sure I didn't look so don't judge me on that but there are cast interviews with with uh, between the uh, scriptwriter and ADR director and uh, multiple members of, of the of the voice cast. And I mean, they're—I mean, they're all right interviews, kind of, kind of whatever. Um, and then, of course, there's uh, you know the Japanese trailers and promotional videos, uh, text, textless songs. Um, but what the the for me the 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 golden you know nugget of of the special features for 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 this set 
is the karaoke of of the major of the major speeches, and it's just six minutes of uh, the major, and I, I guess I'll say the major is the uh, leader of Millennium, and it's just and he he makes these grand speeches, and he has like two or three of them in in, in these four four OVAs, and it tells about six minutes, and all it is is just like no, it's just. You know, it's it's the animation fr from, you know, fr from the from the OVAs, but it's just it, the words uh, scroll, you know, uh, scrolling on on the screen, and you, you know, basically, you know, you karaoke style it and, and say his speeches, and I just had I oh man, I, I was having such a blast. I did it for like a minute or two of of checking it out. I just went ahead and just went along with it and was trying trying. Uh, uh, to do uh, uh, my Ger my German accent and just like going with it and I was busting up while doing it because it was just so fun to just try to get into an evil character and and and, and, and try to you know sound malicious. I, I, <laughs> so it's it's actually I think uh, something uh, and uh, you know something that you could you could actually you know. You know, get others to participate in and be like, okay, who was the better sounding bad guy or some shit like that? You know, so it's it's that that was definitely something different that I haven't seen. You know, as a special feature before that I really enjoyed. So yeah, so uh, that's pretty much what you know everything I got to say on this. I can't wait to get part two. Hopefully, I'll get that before you know it comes out as well. Hoping, hoping. Come on, write stuff. Um, so yeah. So I'm SoddyFan16, of course. You can uh, find me as SoddyFan16 on YouTube, Spill.com, and AnimeVice.com. And uh, I actually made a new Twitter account um, that is at SoddyFan16. And that is strictly for uh, all my anime, manga, otaku, nerdiness uh, updates and whatnot. And so there you go. There's that. Um, and that is uh, pretty much it. So, uh, hey... Uh, let me know what y'all think of the series, uh, or if you have any other questions, be sure to ask me in the comments uh, below. Be sure to uh, like, favorite, share, subscribe, wh whatever you feel like doing. So, uh, yeah, that's what I got. So, peace.